The singer's diet's talked about a lot in the vocal world, and um, it is important, but one thing that I want to start by saying is that it is not the, uh, you know, the holy grail of cures for the voice. At the end of the day, um, eating something is not going to, to cure your voice of all its problems or help you get through, you know, barriers that you're currently facing. Um, if it was as easy as eating a, you know, a pineapple or, or a watermelon, if that fixed all your, your vocal problems, um, I wouldn't have a keyboard or, or a studio. I'd just be a, a farmer farming pineapples or watermelons. Um, so it doesn't work that way. But, um, but you know, they, it de can definitely help you um, gain a little edge on your voice if you, you're struggling. So um, a couple of things to look out for. Are, um, dairy, obviously, that's talked about a lot. It can, can increase mucus in your body. Um, caffeine can dry out the voice. Uh, alcohol can also dry out the voice and it, and it makes you lose those uh, fine motor skills. At the end of the day, you know, one drink at a, at a gig or whatever is not going to kill you. But um, to some people, uh, it can make a difference. I know if I have a vo if I have a beer, um, it just you know doesn't make my voice feel right. So so I avoid it at gigs. Um, and that's the other that's the other thing I want to address too. That everyone's voice is different. Uh, whether it's when we're singing scales on the piano, whether it's live how much sleep we need, how much water we need, what we eat, everyone is different. Uh, it's the same when you sing a note, it'll feel different to when I sing a note, even if it's exactly the same pitch. Um, some people can have a you know a full cheese pizza to themselves and then go do a gig. Me, I cannot. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you really gotta experiment with your voice, but try those things um, and you know try cutting them out of your diet for a little bit. Um, there's so many alternatives now, it, it makes it really easy. Um, even if it's dairy, you know, to, to almond milk, all that type of stuff. There's so many different things you can replace um, in your diet if, if you want to try it. And, you know, I have, to, I have some students saying, you know, I've, I've got to have like a few beers or some shots or whatever to calm me down before a gig. There's so many different things you can do to change um, and, and to, to really relax before a gig. You know, there's like, there's chamomile tea, there's yoga, there's meditation. And don't get me wrong, it sounds a little bit hippie-ish. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it, it does. Some people are like, whoa. Um, so yeah, but you know, what you do backstage and what you, um, what you show out on stage can be two completely different things. I know, um, just for instance, Red Hot Chili Peppers do yoga before gigs. Um, Adam Levine from Maroon 5 loves yoga, that type of thing. So it, it can, uh, there's other ways that can really help you um, relax as opposed to alcohol in your diet. So um, take some of these tips on board. Try them out. Uh, if you've got any questions, comment down below. And um, yeah, I hope this, this tip was helpful. Take it easy.